So I went to this rural country pub like the other day, yeah. And I saw these two men wearing like blood red jackets and that with hats on and spurs and jodhpurs and long boots and fingernails and moustaches and ears and lungs. And they said how like they were cost fox hunting and made illegal. Like there's 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 no else they can do on weekend and that because you know they like these people who like rate and enjoy kind of doing the fox hunting and stuff, but they're just like not really allowed to do it anymore. But I overheard two of them discussing that like, or a while mate. One of them said, you know, I'm sorry, I, I don't know what accent that was. One of them were just like, I tell you what, old chap, ever since the fox hunting ban's been put in place, we've been having a jolly difficult time finding pastimes and activities to occupy ourselves in the weekend, you know, because, of course, my overseas oil business is making so much cash, I'd never have to work a nine-to-five job, so, you know, I've got to find some way of entertaining myself. And bridge clubs on Thursdays with a general, they only take you so far. So what we've done is I've managed to obtain off the internet some small bottles of fox pheromones, which you spray onto the weakest and most pathetic member of the bloodhounds, suit up, get on the horses, send the dogs out, they rip the living fuck out of him. The, the I went a bit Australian, man. Tear it to pieces, you know, the jagular, the larynx, the spine, they're all taken out and put into a big pile which we then cook over, barbecue and blend together, tendons and vomit and all, and serve it in between croissant with pinot grigio and uh, white and white wine spritzers and gin, pints of gin. And um, like, I don't I think that's just as cruel, you know. Uh, I don't really know where I'm going with this one.